is cut from a, I would say, four inch high, tall, wide, thick piece of um, camphor wood. But in fact, it was, it was a beautiful wood to cut. It was um, very, very hard, but also compliant. It cut everything that I wanted it to cut. But I was like a little mouse. I had to nibble it. And so that's why all these cuts are very small because the wood it was too hard to make a big cut. And I spent the first couple of days exploring. And then I was lucky enough to first bump into Andy, who said, don't forget native species only, which hadn't occurred to me, actually. And then also lucky enough to meet Stefan, who is an expert in the native flora, who took me on a short, very short, swift, and very important guided tour where he showed me things like this plant, which is pollinated by rats and bats. And then later on, where is it? This one, which is pollinated by civet cats. So it was all extremely interesting. And then um, bird's eye fern, um, banana, wherever the banana is, the elephant ears, and some other ferns and palms that are particularly local. So, um, and then at the top, Gunyam Chan. Do you know, I've had such a good response to this, and it's been so wonderful when the children all stand round when I'm, I've just finished burnishing and I say it'll be a few minutes and, and so they wait and they wait and then I'm ready to lift it off and when I lift it off they all clap wow and then they clap and, and it's just such a lovely feeling um, so it works for them I think scientifically it's correct I mean I, they're very simplistic images because I can't cut in more detail but um, so yes, I'm, I am pleased with it, actually. I feel that I, I hope I've given the farm something that they will value.